All right, you know what to do. Like, share, subscribe. Kanye's on a roll. He's on a roll. So now he's beefing with Ozzy Osbourne. Get this. He took a sample for the song Vultures without his permission. So we thought he sent through that stamp, but he didn't send it through to get the rights. But he still played it at that that play rights or thing, right? Check this. Now, look, we started at the beginning. Remember what I told you? They're trying to blaspheme old time scripture. Now, let, let's talk about it. Now, just a note here. Leviticus chapter 6, verse 2 is also being blasphemed here. Leviticus 19, 11. Exodus 20, 15. Exodus 22, 7. Ephesians 4, 28. Proverbs 10, 2. Romans 13, 9. And that has to do with adultery and covenant. He's covenanting the song vultures and not giving credit. He's covenanting it as his own. So he's taking credit from it and acting like it's his. That's the covenant part. Now let's talk. It gets even deeper. First Timothy chapter six, verse 10. We talked about that. They're literally yesterday, literally Proverbs 22, 22. Um, let's see Jeremiah chapter seven, verse nine to 11. Now that one's huge. John chapter 10, verse 10. Man, let's see. What other ones did I capture? Here? Um, Luke chapter 19, verse 8. Mark chapter 10, verse 19. Psalms chapter 62, verse 10. And that one's trust not in oppression. He's literally trusting and oppressing uh, Ozzy Osbourne to blow his album up for a song called Vultures. He's, so he's trusting in oppression. So he's oppressing him and trusting in it to be a feature in his album, to make his album successful. That's crazy. Now, look, it gets even then bigger. Psalms, see, with Psalm 62, verse 10, remember, that's a chink in the armor. And Psalms is talking about the armor. Not vain and robbery. He's robbing him and he's doing it vainly. And he doesn't care. Not your, your heart, but he's putting his heart towards doing it. And he's doing it with his full heart intention to do something because they warned him but he ignored it that's crazy they're literally blaspheming god in the midst of doing these things and that's why talking about this is very serious it's a bigger topic than anything i don't i don't i've never heard anyone really calling this out but it's time to start calling it out because this is wickedness and every time we call it out it's a, it attacks the spell that they're putting out with it and i understand everyone that listens to this is going to be bewitched and whether they know it or not, they are now an accomplice via Ephesians chapter 5, verse 11. They're an accomplice and part of it because they're enjoying the song. You're enjoying the song, not realizing this. Understand, you are now in detriment for the sin these guys are committing. That's how wicked it is. I'm trying to show you. This is basically when you talk about white magic, black magic, I can tell you for sure this is a form of black magic. Okay, I know white magic and stuff. I come from those backgrounds and understandings. I'm telling you, this is black magic at its at its most wickedest. Because the way it works is on the unknowing individual, they're signing into something that they know not of. But in that same case, you got to seek out Christ. For that, you're guilty. And when you're guilty of that, you're guilty of everything else. You got to find Christ first so you can understand. And this is what I'm saying. This is how crazy it is. Now, he just got in a situation earlier I talked about. Now I'm looking at it, and Ozzy Osbourne literally is fighting him off to get his song back because he, he's copying a cover from Black Sabbath. And if you know anything about Ozzy Osbourne, Black Sabbath was the band before he was in. So now we're looking at a situation that Kanye West is about to profit off of that. That's where we get into the scriptures and start messing around with the Ephesians 4, 28, because you literally profiting off the fall and shame and pain of someone else. That's what it's really getting into. Then we get into the scriptures, start looking at first Timothy. We talked about the sixth thing about the torture, the, the diff different, the character flows, the different decisions being made without any recognition or ambition to do right. It's wrong. And workers of iniquity, we could bring that in. This is what we're talking about. This is how serious it is. This is how easily it is to infringe on God's law. So you could break this many scriptures and this is how you go to hell so fast. This is why people want to go head first into hell. Like no chance. Like just straight there. 
it's like they know they're supposed to go there like because they just do bad and don't try and stop it you gotta ask 28 28 and try and turn from the same you got to it's part of what you gotta do it is your service we are giving service via ephesians i read that chapter seven to chapter nine i read that we are looking at us being in the military the army of the lord and we are to do service bottom line if you are not doing your service then you will be declared mutiny you would do whatever they say mutiny excuse me i use a real old term not mutiny you will be a discern a deserter and you'll be thrown in hell therefore you cannot be with the squad you must do the will of god all of you and if you want to know book of ephesians it's one book in the bible you guys ain't got to read the whole thing i'm saying one book in the bible ephesians okay now all these scriptures i read to you are serious check them out he's breaking them this is how these artists i see now gain they gain and they blow up by breaking scriptures in the bible that's how they do it i'm reading it and i'm showing you by scripture that is true and I read it to you when I did it with the computer. Long reads, I proved it. Long reads, God called them out before they even existed. This is how crazy God is. This is why he's the true one. He, There's no one above him. Never put nothing above Jesus Christ. And always do Hebrews 11. 1. Always. Philippians 4.13. Always. I keep repeating this because you got to know this. When you, the end times come, you want to know these numbers. You want to know these scriptures. Because these scriptures are what's going to protect you. When what's coming, everybody's going to be running around like chickens with their heads cut off. This is going to protect you and save your life. Understand scriptures and know them. People are going to be lost. I'm telling you, people are going to be like zombies when the, when the, oh man, all praise be to the most high God. I'm telling you, get and keep your relationship good with him, man. Don't always ask 28, 28 every night, every day, every moment. Don't wait. Do it right after you sin and turn from it. You know what I'm talking about. All rights reserved.